Hey everyone, how's it going today? This is Crypto Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk everything Polkadot. We're going to look at technical analysis surrounding um, that cryptocurrency and let you guys know where we could possibly be headed from here. Uh, before we get into our video, though, please make sure you smash the like button on this uh, video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it here. All right, so Polkadot price prediction. Where will DOT move to next? So where's it headed? Polkadot price forecast January 2024 points to a mild correction for the DOT price. So which had halted near the value of about $9.60 and is now taking support from the 50-day EMA. Uh, the trend is still bullish and the price is above the key moving averages and the bulls are supporting the price at lower levels. Uh, buyers are still accumulating at the crypto, the crypto at the lower levels, demonstrating their presence. So they're making it well known. You know, I have those uh, levels as well when something hit goes it's a, a certain level I uh, accumulate because I believe in it. I think it's going to go up in the future and that's what's going on here. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know that none of this is financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know what is shown on the technicals. Technical analysis is simply one thing, um, one tool used in order to try to predict where the market goes. So the charts continue growth. Uh, char charts show continued growth movement. The price of Polkadot is on an upward trajectory towards $8.50. And if it surpasses this level, the price will return to the high of around $10. Uh, the lower trajectory near $7.18 uh, is a breakdown of which will take the price back to the 200-day EMA near $5.50. So performance throughout the year was really decent. It gave a positive return of about 25%. Uh, it also gave a remarkable return of 45% in the span of the last six months and a return of 99% in three months. So... Polkadot has definitely been on an upward movement and, uh, you know, things can't go up forever. I always say that, you know, think you have to have pullbacks, like even in this chart here that we see here, um, this is from October, it goes up, it pulls back, it goes up, it pulls back, it trends sideways a bit, it goes up, it pulls back. That's just the nature of the beast, right? Um, so right now, the current RSI value is sitting at 49. Uh, so the S14 day, 14 SMA is above the center line at 49 points, indicating the neutral nature of the Polkadot cryptocurrency. So right now, it's not really anybody's game. Uh, it's just kind of doing its thing, you know, kind of trending in a, a certain trend and, uh, you know, just kind of seeing where it's going to go from here. So there's a bearish crossover in the MACD indicator, which shows weak momentum at the price of the dot cryptocurrency right now. So it's just kind of just waiting to see where it's going to go. I think what we're doing right now is digesting um, the Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, we also have, you know, impending uh, decisions from the Fed, uh, U.S. Federal Reserve coming in. Um, we don't know if they're going to raise interest rates or they're going to continue their pause. Or I think um, I think right now a reduction might be off the table, but I'm I'm obviously not a part of the Fed, so I don't know for sure, but I think that's what um, the rest of crypto is thinking right now. There's uncertainty in the market, and we're just waiting to see where we're going to go. Uh, support levels are sitting at $7, and resistance levels are at $8.59. So it is um, altcoin season because... Let me go down here and I'll read this to you. 75% of the top 50 altcoins perform better than Bitcoin over the last 90 days. So that determines that it is altcoin season. We can see Bitcoin sitting here just at 45. And most of these altcoins here performed better than uh, Bitcoin did. So it, uh, you know, market's looking good. I think we're just kind of waiting to see what happens right now. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, we're at the mercy of a lot of uh, day and swing traders right now, kind of just, you know, waiting to see what's going to happen and, uh, you know, see where they're, you know, if the bulls take the horns, then that's great. But, uh, you know, definitely don't FOMO in, um, you know, do things strategically, always have a plan when you're trading. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got for you in this video. I just thought I'd give, come and give you a quick uh, polka dot update. I haven't done one in a, in a little bit. So that's what I got for you. Um, we're going to keep tabs on it. If anything else progresses, I will be certainly uh, you know going to let you guys know what happens. That's what I got for you in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.